Good morning, Bird Brains. I've been getting tons of requests for this video, so the wait is finally over. Today, I'm going to be reviewing both the quad lock and the rock form phone case mounting systems. So before we dive into the meat of this review, let's first start by taking a look at what each mount costs and what that cost will get you. That way you can see that this isn't exactly a fair battle. So starting off with the quad lock, this kit comes with the phone case as well as a mount that fits handlebars up to one and one quarter inches. It also includes what they call a poncho, essentially a plastic covering that makes your phone even more waterproof than it most likely already is. The case only comes in black and the mount comes standard with the blue lever, more on that later. Altogether this kit will run you $69.60. Moving on to rock form. In this kit you won't get a poncho but you still get the phone case as well as a handlebar mount, also up to 1 and 1 quarter inches. The difference with rock form is you get a lot of color options from an American flag to some dope looking carbon fiber and everything in between, unless you have an android, in that case you get black. Depending on what phone you have and what case you choose, you're going to be looking at a price tag of about $150, which is over twice the cost of the quad lock. Installation of both of these kits is extremely easy and should only take about 10 minutes in your garage. I will say though that the rock form was just a tad bit easier due to its hinge design. With a hinge on one end of the clamp, you'll be able to focus on just the one screw as opposed to the double screws you get with the quad lock. Although a mild inconvenience, definitely not a deal breaker. At this point, you're probably wondering why on earth is the rock form so much more? Well, the answer is in the quality, but don't count the quad lock out just yet. Let's first look at the mounts themselves. The quad lock mount is made of a glass filled nylon, essentially a very strong plastic. The mount feels light, but not cheap. You can tell that a lot of time was put into designing and refining this product. It comes with stainless steel hardware as well as a reassuring lever lock. This is that blue piece that you see on the mount. Now you are able to get these in different colors, black, red, and white, but that's gonna cost you an extra $9.95. Then comes the rock form. Skipping no corners, the rock form is made of CNC machined 6061 T6 aircraft grade aluminum. I couldn't find any specific info, but I'm assuming that the hardware is also stainless steel. The mount feels ridiculously strong, yet light. The attention to detail within this mount gives you a sense of confidence that once it goes on your bars, it's there to stay. Now onto the cases themselves. The quad lock case is made of a TPU slash PC composite. Once again, a strong plastic. It features an impact absorbing shell lined with microfiber. Its super slim design makes it feel great in the hands and does not disrupt the wireless charging capabilities of your phone. There were however two large complaints I had with this case. The number one reason I hate having a case on my phone in general is the feel of the side buttons, especially the wake button you find on the side of most smartphones. And that is where quad lock let me down. The buttons felt undefined, unresponsive. You have to press with a good bit of force for them to activate. This is especially annoying if you're trying to put your phone to sleep while riding with gloves. And then the second complaint, which is actually the number one reason I even look for a second case in the first place, is this. The mounting location protrudes from the case, making it sit unlevel on flat surfaces. About 80% of the time I use my phone, it's sitting on a desk, which means every time I hit the bottom of the screen, it did this. Once again, superior quality is apparent in the Rockform product. The dual compound multi-layer case is slightly more bulky, but it's worth it. The case is 6 foot drop tested and also features a very strong, yet safe, magnetic backing. While having the safer case with magnetic capabilities is very convenient at times, this does cause one major problem. No wireless charging. Which means each night before I go to bed, I have to take off the case and set it on the charger. But that issue is overshadowed by the solid responsive buttons and the flat backing. I tested each of these systems for about a month and a half and was actually surprised that both come with their own unique sets of pros and cons. The first thing I noticed with the quad lock is that the mount is super easy to adjust. With multiple adjustment locations, it's very easy to get your phone right in that sweet spot. But that does open you up to more vibration, which makes reading the phone difficult at times. I also found myself liking the lever. Although not a fan of the blue and how it stuck out like a sore thumb on my all black bike, but the click it makes when your phone is locked in is satisfying. It also gives you that extra peace of mind that you won't accidentally hit your phone with your hand and have it come off the mount. And last but not least, I found the quad lock much easier to put on and take off than the rock form. 
The tabs are a little larger, which I'm assuming makes it easier to find the grooves, but it was just an overall easier experience. The combination of the magnetic and locking system provides a much more solid connection to the rock form, although adjusting it is not as easy and you might not be able to hit that sweet spot. I do have a few complaints, however. Mounting and unmounting. I found the rock form more difficult to actually put on the mount. I found myself fumbling, seeing where is it. Thankfully I don't do a lot of on and off riding where I'm constantly having to put my phone on and off the mount, but that might be something to consider if you are that type of rider. My final thoughts. Like I mentioned earlier, comparing these two mounts really isn't a fair battle. It's easy to see that both of these companies put a ton of research and development into these phone mounts to put out a great product. To me, it just seems they were made for two different markets, and they both nailed it. The best way I can describe these two is that you get what you pay for. Either one, you're going to get exactly what the product is worth, in my opinion. If you're the type that wants to spend top dollar and get a product that will last you for years no matter how much you beat it up, then Rockform is the way to go. If you're more of a financially responsible person that wants to mount your phone to your bike every now and then and doesn't want to drop over $100, then quad lock is the way to go. As for which one I would personally pick, I'd have to go with the rock form. I believe that the improvements that you get for that extra $70 is absolutely worth it. And here are the key reasons behind that decision. The phone case is something that I can use day in and day out and it still performs like you'd expect a high-end phone case to perform. It just feels solid in your hands. The side buttons have excellent feedback and there's never that instance of, did I press it or... And the other key factor is the all metal mount. Now I'm sure quad locks composite plastic is more than strong enough to do the job, but the South Texas Summers eat plastics alive and there's just something comforting about the all aluminum construction of the rock form. Well guys, if you're interested in either of these products, I will have links down in the description as well as links to all my social medias so you can reach out with any questions you may have. That's going to do it for my review. If you found this review helpful in any way, please help me out by leaving a like. If you enjoy this kind of content, then I highly suggest you hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.